Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are looking at Botanic, the flower update 6.5. Now the folks at Botanic have created an amazing vegetation tool that offers you both scattering and also high quality trees. And today we are looking at the beautiful updates that now ships with lots and lots of cool flowers. So this current update release ships with 17 assets, 20 scatter presets and 103 variations. So for those who are thinking about getting that one stop vegetation tool that they can use to generate high quality models and at the same time scatter vegetation assets across their models, then this is the one for you. And of course, if you'd like to get this right now, there is a couple of, you know, discounts that is going to be in the description which you can check out. If you go over to the page, you'll be seeing a 15% discount. For sure, there's also some nice ones you'll find with the link in the description. And if you're thinking about testing this before finalizing to get the full version, there is a free one that you can get as a trial and test it out for yourself. And with that said, let's dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this actually works. So, well, Blender simply opened right here. All you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and install it. And once you install it, it is super simple how this works. So let's go ahead and throw a tiny grid like so. And with that grid, I'm just going to dive in and subdivide. And with that, don't tap N on the keyboard and switch over to polygonic. Now, if you have the full suite of polygonic installed, you'll notice that we have the aquatic, we have the botanic and also the traffic. So, but today, since we're looking at the botanic update, we will definitely take a look at this one. So with the botanic open right here, there's a spawn asset section, which if you click, you would be able to find lots of things. So they have a couple of trees that they've actually updated some of them, and you would also be able to find the flowers. So if you go over to the flower section, you'll be finding lots and lots of flowers right here. So depending on the flower that you want to bring in, you can simply just click and drag that in. Now, the flowers update are pretty nice. And of course, there's even more stuff that you can find. Now, for those who have no idea, minus the flowers, if you go over and take a look at some of the plants, there's a whole lot of plants that are now available with botanic. At the same time, we have the weed, the vine, the tropical ones, the succulent, the sampling, the rocks, the pots, the plants ivies, grasses, lots of cool grasses that you can work with. And for the trees, we have high quality trees. This has been updated and enhanced to even accommodate for lots of things that you guys have requested over time. And it is beautiful. So if you're looking for the deciduous or you're looking for the coniferous trees, they are all here and they also work according to season. So there's the autumn, the spring, and also the winter one. So if you're looking for trees that has to deal with seasons, that you can easily tweak then of course you can do that as well now with a brand new update to botanic if you have a tree or probably you just have a vegetation you can do some nice things so in this case i have this object selected let's jump over and take a look at what it looks like rendered in cycles because you know these things are better off when you're rendering in cycles and let's take a look at this i'm just going to move this right about to a point like so so Let's actually move these lights to this point. So we'll just have that light right here. So with an object selected right now, you can play with the brightness. So I'm just gonna also turn this off so that you can see what we have. So you can play with the brightness in the sense that you can simply just go all the way down and you can click on change brightness and that way you can change the brightness of the leaf. This is definitely wonderful, especially if you're trying to create that dramatic look on your model. You can also choose to randomize this and just simply play with the values with a minimum and a maximum value. So in this case, you can just go back and forth and get some nice stuff. And if you're thinking about changing the hue and saturation, that is also available. So at this point, if we just simply grab all this and change the brightness to be, you know, 100% and we go over to the hue and saturation section, we can change the hue and change that. So this way you start getting some interesting patterns across your vegetation. And this is just one of those things that you can't really find in other vegetation apps that Botanic actually offers. There is also a beautiful set of scatter assets. So if you go over to the scatter section, which is down here, if you click on the plus sign and you go down to where you have the flowers, you would notice they have a truckload of flower beds. So you can select any of the flower beds you want and you can load them in. In this case, if I simply click on that and click on OK, and that is how simple it is. One of the things with Polygonic that just makes a lot of sense, especially with your Botanic tool, is this beautiful thing right here that deals with the display. So at this point, you can manage your viewport performance by dropping the display all the way down. So if you don't want to get like 100% on your viewport so that you can manage performance, you can also do that. If you like to represent this either by solid objects, by bonds, wire or textures, you can also do that. And for those who are thinking about guiding these things by themselves, 
there is also the weight mapping. So in this case, if we go right here and we would like to paint on a given layer, we can flip between this layer. So I can turn this off and turn that off as well. So you notice we don't have any layer. So based on the scatter that you load, there's a couple of layers. And if you like to turn them off, you can. If you'd like to turn them back on, of course you can. So in this case, if we would like to, you know, just get some of these puppies to just come around and uh, we would like to control that, we can. And how to do that is select the layer that you want, go all the way to where you have density, click on the brush sign, and automatically you can start painting. So we can paint some stuff like that. So I'm just gonna paint some things like this. And we have that right about here. All right, so now we have this being painted across however we want. All right, so this is a beautiful masterpiece. And so with this here, we can go all the way back and switch this to the object. And from there, if we go all the way back here, you can see we have that cool stuff right there. I'm just gonna put the 3D cursor right over here and select a beautiful tree. So let's go all the way down and take a look at the truckload of beautiful trees you'll be able to get with this add-on. And I'm just gonna click on OK and drop that right in here. So in this case, you now have all of these and you can start having fun with them. Now, regardless of just this ones that we've mentioned, there's a couple of adjustments that deals with brightness, hue and saturation. And by all means, if you're thinking about scattering even more stuff, yes, you can. Now, before we look at more stuff that you can scatter, let's take a look at what this looks like when you're rendering with cycles. So if we switch over to cycles right now and we switch these to GPU and we also, you know, simply switch this to cycles, you would notice that the rendering looks pretty nice. Let's move the light over to a given point like so. Hijack that all the way up and we're going to go ahead and increase this to a thousand. And of course, we're also going to increase this by one. Actually, let's make that by 10 so that we have a fair amount of radius and you can start noticing that we have some beautiful stuff going on right here. And with Botanic, it's just super easy to click and assign stuff and also control these things however you want. And if you're looking for more stuff, if you go over to the flower section, you can select as much as you want. There's also some forest floors, which you can also pick and walk with. So, you know, if you like to get some mushrooms, you can click and load up some of the mushrooms. So I'm just gonna click and load that up and let's turn these ones off so that we can take a look at the mushrooms. All right, so you can throw in the mushrooms if you want, control them however you want. If you're also thinking about loading in some more stuff like some grasses, some rocks, you can also go ahead and throw in some rocks right here. I can just click on OK, get some of these rocks in. If we would like to paint some of the rocks, you know, edit some parts. This is also something that is super easy to be done with this add-on. So the folks at Polygonic have done amazingly well to create the Botanic 6.5. And this comes with a lot of cool features, especially for those who are into vegetations and you're thinking about ways to style your next garden scenes or maybe your next landscape. This is definitely going to come in extremely handy with a truckload of high quality models that you can use for production. And of course, if you'd like to get this for 15% off, or maybe you're thinking about getting some, you know, beautiful percentages off, or you'd like to try this for now before purchasing it, links to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.